The corporation promised not to drop below 20% gross margins in the automotive sector, and they did so in the first quarter as well. It was truly a question of magnitude because Tesla had stated that it wouldn't go below that level for the year and that it would only go lower moving forwards, as seen by the recent announcement of additional price reduction this month. There was a narrative that suggested that since commodity costs were declining, even though Tesla was lowering prices, marches wouldn't be as bad as investors believed. However, in the end, they were, and the good news for investors was that they came in below both Street and Tesla's guidance. With Tesla's price falling below 200, investors are becoming worried. However, before you think about selling Gilches, renowned stock analyst Dan Ives provided some important information that may influence your choice. But there's one where you might need something stronger than a cappuccino, so I don't want to ask you about Tesla. Have you been following the stock action in the area? Dana, the company just announced that it was boosting some of its prices in China, but it also doesn't seem like it's increasing by much in the US. Is this merely an investor bonus, or should we take another look at it? Yes, the market has undoubtedly been under pressure as a result of the six price cuts. There is a push and pull between margins and units, and while the stock did see a nice recovery earlier this year, the focus moving forwards will be on demonstrating that China's sustainable growth story is there and that the price war is being played out. Ultimately, they will be able to navigate to a company that reaches 1.19 million units, but they will also be able to have that gross margin X credit in that sort of operating 20 ranging going forwards. This is where Tesla's balancing act comes in. I believe the stock is oversold, but it's definitely a prove me scenario. While many Tesla bulls are still upbeat about the course of events, the company's profit margin is beginning to decline in the second half of the year and is probably going to stay that way for the next several months. The majority of investors are not delighted about the possibility that Tesla would not be as profitable this year, according to Bits of Truth. But this year promises to be exciting for a few reasons, and if everything goes according to plan, Tesla stock may rise once more, perhaps reaching $300. What are the necessary conditions for this to occur, and how will the automaker do this? We will soon find out. Hi everyone, happy to be back at Tesla tomorrow. There are analysts on Wall Street who worry that Tesla may someday run out of margin, benefit from the most recent price reductions. Even though the company did boost prices earlier this month, investors still need to look at the overall picture because this came after price reductions of almost 20 worldwide at the beginning of the year. Investors in Tesla should be aware that the company wants to get into the mass market despite its adjacent luxury brand. In order to maximize market share, a large portion of its operating cost savings will probably be passed on to customers, resulting in greater cost efficiencies. Future Savings This approach may provide investors with a larger return than a low-volume, higher-margin model. Hence, holding on to your hope for the automaker may be your wisest course of action. Is it feasible for Tesla stock to hit all-time highs? Once more watch to find out, but before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and enable notifications if you enjoy this kind of content to stay informed about Teslab's latest developments. Due to the stock's drop, investors now have the chance to participate in a variety of the company's other technological innovations, such as Beyond EVS, at a significantly lower cost than it did a few years ago. There is still a lot to look forward to for Tesla, but not every investor or even analyst agrees with this. The NASDAQ 100 is currently trading at a PE of 19.2, which is significantly below the company's peak PE of over 1,000 back in 2021. Despite this, Tesla stock currently trades at a PE ratio of about 45, which is still higher than the broader stock market. Recently, Tesla stock moved after an investor predicted that the price of the EV company's shares would never again hit $300. Mark Horton, the investment director at GAM Investments, made this declaration. He claims that because of the price reductions the business has announced for its EVS, Tesla stock will not be able to return to $300. Horton went on to say that there are a number of challenges facing Tesla shares, one of which is the belief that the company's EVS demand will decline as it increases manufacturing. The investor is now feeling very pessimistic about Tesla. The trading volume of Tesla stock dropped to 46 million shares following Horton's remark which is a small amount in comparison to the company's daily average of 171 million shares. In the upcoming year, investors may witness a further decline in the price of Tesla shares if his predictions come to pass. A few noteworthy problems could be that worries about a recession have been accompanied by rising interest rates and inflation. 
notwithstanding the potential negative impact of inflation and recession on Tesla, the automaker is benefiting from a number of factors. Tesla's margins are one of the elements that distinguish it from the majority of automakers in the market. These margins are typically larger than average. In 2022, the Automobile Corporation produced $81.5 billion in total sales, with an operating profit of $13.7 billion, or 16.8%, in contrast. The margins of Tesla's major U.S. competitors, Ford and General Motors, are often in the single digits. Tesla's extraordinary profitability has multiple explanations. First off, it doesn't need to spend money on advertising and promotion because it has a well-known brand. Additionally, the management of the corporation has tried to increase manufacturing efficiencies and vertical integration, allowing it to produce more batteries and sell automobiles directly to customers, circumventing dealership networks. Better margins and more profitability for the business result from all of this. Leading manufacturer of AI-powered self-driving software, Tesla is anticipated to make it easier for the corporation to transition into the autonomous railway taxi industry by 2024. According to preliminary projections by ARK Investment, autonomous vehicles may usher in a new era of ride hailing, generating $14 trillion in value by 2027. Demand for Tesla's solar and battery storage solutions, which are also powering residential dwellings, is surging in Q1. Year over year, the company's deployed battery storage capacity increased by 360% as its production capabilities eventually caught up with Tesla, may start selling its Optimus humanoid robot in 2027. It will be useful for low-skilled tasks of such production all things considered. Investing in Tesla stock makes sense because of the potential in the electric vehicle market. It's a risk-free investment that might become one of the company's future revenue streams. According to an estimate by ARK Investment Management, as more EV manufacturers reach scale, operating costs should decrease, leading to higher sales. The number of EVs produced worldwide could increase from 7.8 million in 2022 to 60 million in 2027. This translates to a compound annual growth rate of 50, which is ironically the same growth rate in production that Tesla anticipates reaching. According to the company, charging an electric vehicle for 200 miles used to take about 40 minutes, but in the last five years, that time has decreased to 15 minutes, and it may even reach four minutes. In 2022, just 10% of new cars sold were electric, but according to Goldman Sachs, by 2040, that percentage will rise to 61%. Since the market is still in its infancy, it makes more sense for Tesla to prioritize long-term market share growth over short-term profit at a 42 price-to-earnings multiple. Tesla's stock is valued more than the average of the S&P 500, which is 24. The electric vehicle, EV, market is still in its very early phases, and Tesla has all the resources necessary to seize the opportunity. Even though the company faces stiff competition from unprofitable rivals like Lucid and Rivian Automotive, maintaining low costs can effectively shield the company's operations from these potential threats in the future. Government regulations in the U.S. and Europe are beginning to favor electric vehicles, EVs, and plan to outlaw the sale of gasoline and diesel vehicles by 2035, which would accelerate the switch to EVs. While having an electric vehicle will become more affordable and convenient than ever, gas costs will probably continue to increase for years to come. The goal of these government initiatives is clean, sustainable energy. The manufacturer revealed in its most recent impact report that the production of batteries and metal mining will be the main contributor to its carbon emissions in 2022, making up 27% of the total. 8% of Tesla's emissions come from steel, and 8% come from aluminium. The remaining 47 emissions were categorized by Tesla into a new area that covers using its cars, staff commuting, business travel, and downstream transportation and distribution. EV supply chains now emit higher emissions at supply chains of gas-powered automobiles. This is the first time the company has reported the emissions related to their supply chain. Conventional cars have substantially greater lifetime emissions since they burn gasoline for the duration of their 17-year average life. However, throughout the course of an EV's lifespan, an EV does emit 55 tons less CO2, according to Tesla's estimations. Going forwards, Tesla continues to have an amazing growth story despite the company's price. In its Investor Day presentation, the company announced a plan to cut the price of its next-generation vehicle by 50%. This move could support further price reductions while maintaining the company's industry-leading level of profitability, suggesting that cuts may not have as much of a negative impact on margins as investors had anticipated.
while there is still a long way to go before Tesla stock reaches the approximately $300 per share that it traded for in December. Investors should keep in mind that the stock has been regaining lost ground in 2023 and may do so until the end of this year. Do you think Tesla stock can reach that 300 mark? Please let us know, and while you're still here, click on the next video on your screen. We'll see you there.